I don't really give a fuck about the fact that animals are eaten, you know? That's the truth, you know, like that's that's the way most people feel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not that windy. Hey guys, I'm out on the streets of Bath today and I'm gonna be doing some street interviews with Aisha and our friends uh, Dan, Tom and Eleanor from Eleanor's Being in Life. We're gonna be asking the public what they think about this vegan sidekick image um, and asking them their reactions and talk to them about veganism. So yeah, hope that you enjoy their reactions and see you guys in a bit. So I'm gonna show you guys an image, a piece of artwork, and I want your immediate thoughts yeah. and your reaction when you see the artwork, okay? A a vegan, <laughs> vegan. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes me think of my mate who always goes on about how she's vegan. But okay. eats chicken. But eats chicken all the time. Um. I love animals. Oh, and wow. He's killing everything apart from Controversial, the dog. yeah. Controversial. Wow. It's alright. I don't know. What do you, if it's pretty blase. Yeah, I don't look at it and yeah. like it. I, I get what it's trying to say. Aggressive. Kind of quite. Protective, maybe. Um, kind of satirical on the sort of mm. when people go, I love my pets, but then they will go and um, like go to the shops and buy something um, like meat to eat. Which animals are worth killing and which animals aren't? Yeah, no, it's kind of weird, isn't it? How like. It's okay if, to kill yeah. and eat some animals, but other animals we like need to. So like you never respect. kill a pet or anything. Yeah, but, but what then is, we'd what happily is a, pet? Eat a cow, we'd eat a sheep. Yeah. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Yes, yeah, sad. It's so on the nose. Um, if you want honest thoughts, yeah. It's so on the nose of like the point it's trying to make that it's. Um, I don't like it personally. What point do you think it's trying to make? Oh well it's pretty obvious isn't it? It's like we kill these animals for food but then we have this tender relationship with dogs, yeah? Uh, I get the message but then you can't have I love animals in there. It's not like, it's not subtle. Do you think that it's quite hypocritical? I think it's quite hypocritical. Yeah. But then also like, I don't know. Because he, he, he is clearly protective of some animals but yeah. maybe doesn't see every animal in the same sort of light. Can you relate to it at all? Yeah we have a lot of dogs yeah, and so yeah. sort of I can re relate to sort of feeling protective over a lot of animals so yeah yeah. Why do you think that we you know treasure some animals and have them as pets but other animals we kill them and eat them for food? Because they're cute? Um, yeah, well, no, I think a, a baby pig's kind of cute. I suppose, but I like. I suppose you kind of form some attachment to an animal that's your pet, whereas you don't really with like. I don't know. I suppose you also don't really see the animal when you're eating it. So like, when you eat a burger, you're not seeing a cow. You're just seeing the meat itself. Whereas and like. It's also like what suits the people. You wouldn't really have a cow for a pet. Like you couldn't come in and sit on the sofa with you. I'm not sure though. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Really. Why do you think that um, we love? You know, we have some animals that we welcome into our homes and yeah. we love and other ones we raise them and eat them? I think it's more traditional because we used to having sort of the working breeds and um, yeah. things like that and then just especially because back in kind of olden times people didn't have anything else so they ate these animals but they sort of carried forward into the present it hasn't really been changed that much. Yeah. Do you think that like because it's happened for a really long time do you think that makes it acceptable? I don't know so much acceptable, but I think we need to have a lot more of a discussion around it, I guess. Yeah. Versus just sort of keep it back, keep it away from us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that a lot of people do that. They kind of like yeah. close their they, eyes to it a bit. Yeah. I think that if you can't accept the fact that that is what it is, then you shouldn't really be eating it. Yeah. Do you think that um, loads of people say that they love animals though? Yeah. And have a dog and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah. they yeah, say yeah. animals, aren't they like being a little bit, they're being a bit more specific than actually saying like the broader, like every single animal in the world? Because obviously, like we go to zoos and stuff, uh, we see animals that are in cages and we think they're all cute and that, but they're obviously like enclosed in like a small area. Then you've got dogs, cats, or other pets that you may have. Like some people have fish as pets. Mm. I mean, you even go to like restaurants and you can choose what lobster or lobster you might have. For dinner so do you think it's a bit contradictory? 
Well, it's not consistent, but... How do you think you could be consistent? Oh, by stopping eating all animals. Oh, she's got it. So you think there's some sort of like disconnection there? Like when you go in the supermarket, you don't actually think about the animal itself, like when you buy the meat? No, no, like when I, whenever I eat meat, like I ate, I ate a duck today, but I didn't really think like... Oh, this is a duck that I could I'm have just, fed yeah, in the pond. This like, is Fred yeah, the yeah, duck, just think my little pet. <laughs> Do you think that if you did think about it as an animal, you wouldn't be able to eat it? Well, yeah, a bit. Yeah, I mean, like I have a cat and like if I, I don't know. If, if somebody told me it was my burger. cat, I'd be a little bit like, well, I'm not going to eat that. But it's kind of strange, isn't it? But like, Or well, someone said to me, like, oh, there's dog in that kebab. I wouldn't eat it. But if it was like, it's a kebab, I Is that because, would. like, when you think of dog meat, you immediately see the image of, like, a cute, fluffy dog. But when you see, when you think about, like, beef, you think about food rather than the animal. Yeah. Head. Yeah. Definitely. That's, you Why do you think it is that we do um, that? I guess through the media, in yeah, a lot of ways. I think it is just the attachment that you form with an animal that you look after or like a pet that you have. You kind of form some kind of bond with it, whereas when it's just an animal that gets put on your plate, when you don't see the animal itself, you don't see any of that, you don't have that same connection, so you kind of make it's more okay in your own head to yeah. eat something. Like, How do you feel about it, like, personally? Personally, I... I've accepted that that is where a lot of food stuff comes from. I definitely think there are a lot more ethical ways to do it than the way that a lot of people have, uh, a lot of people are doing it, so more free range and like letting the animal live out its life than just breeding it to kill it. But I also think that it's a lot of people's livelihood, so it can be a bit of a sensitive issue when saying we should all not kill any animals because it does provide a lot of money for a lot of the industries and people's lives. So do you think that if you had like a pet pig for example or a pet cat or you wouldn't be able to eat them? Well I'd feel I'd feel worse about it. I'm not sure if I'd still I don't know. I feel like if I if I saw the animal itself think, being killed or if I saw it being turned into the meat I'd feel a lot worse about it and I probably wouldn't. I think we're told from like quite a young age that it's okay to it's not okay to eat a dog and it's not okay to eat a cat but it is okay to eat a cow and it's okay to eat a chicken, but it's not okay to eat a horse. Like, it's we are, we are taught that. It's like, weird where the line's drawn though, isn't it, Ruth? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that, like, in China they eat dogs. Have you heard of, like, the yeah, Yulin Dog Meat I mean Festival? It's, like, through the media. Like, and even we, the whole like in England we're told, like, that's so wrong that they can eat dogs and cats. And I seen this thing on Facebook the other day of, like, a dog's head in China, like, made for, like, a soup or something like that. And it was like, how wrong is this? But if that was a pig's head, it wouldn't have been called wrong. Even I would say I'd like to go on the record saying I don't mind that other countries eat dog. I think that's cultural and I think that's OK because it's the same as us eating cow. You know, I, I, I like a dog and I wouldn't eat it because I, I personify it too much. But I don't really give a fuck about the fact that animals are eaten. You know, that's the truth. You know, like, that's, that's the way most people feel. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think that like it's possible for us to say that we love animals and still eat them? It's hypocritical. It's, it's, no, it's definitely hypocritical. But like, I like animals and I still eat cows. I still yeah, eat pigs. Yeah. So like, I think most people are guilty of it because most people do love animals, but still, it wouldn't stop them eating a chicken burger or going for a Nando's or a McDonald's. Well, this is the thing. Like, I've I have thought this before, but like, it still doesn't stop me from eating like. Like I, I would love to stop eating meat, but then I always think of it. And being then I like, just see some ribs in front of me. I think of it being so kind of like, I wouldn't really be able to. Like most of my meals in my house are based around me, and it would just be hard. I'm not really a vegetable kind of person. <laughs> so it's like a taste thing. You like the taste of meat. I like the taste. Of now that you're talking about it, it makes me feel sick because we just connected it with animals. But like, I try not to think about it. I wouldn't look at a, if I looked at a burger, I would not think about the animal that it once was. I would just think about it being food, and and then I guess it's kind of comes to the point where you think it's all survival of the fittest as well. Probably yeah, the wrong thing you don't, to say. You don't need to eat meat, though, do you? It's not like a, a need. Well, just animals eat animals all the time, and we are animals. Yeah, but you wouldn't eat your little dog. Look at that. Yeah, look I at it, Yeah. <laughs> do you think that like? Um, they could not change from farming animals to farming um, crops, for example? I think they could, but it would take sort of 
it can't happen instantly I don't yeah, think I yeah. think it need, especially also in developing countries around the world yes. it can't become like a you yeah. can't eat this because the rest of the world says it's not right have you ever watched any like graphic footage about what happens yeah. inside slaughterhouse? So on um, battery chicken farming, oh, right. like a few years ago, and like I learned all about it, and it was horrible. Yeah. But it still, it hasn't stopped me from eating meat. So I just feel like I don't know. It's, Did it put you off at all, like when you first learned about definitely, it? Definitely, definitely. And like I don't know, for a, for a good while I made sure that I only ate like organic chicken and stuff. But Vegetarian a few times, just because I've watched programs on TV about how cows and chickens like are treated when they are. Being like, and it is horrible. It's, it's really awful. Why did you stop becoming vegetarian? Because my mum bought me a kebab. <laughs> it, so it was like a convenience thing? Yeah, well... It became inconvenient to be vegetarian. Yeah, it does become inconvenient. Like, even if you go into a friend's house and you are vegetarian, it's, in, it's an inconvenience for them to go and prepare something else yeah. for you. Or if you're... I don't know, it's like, meat is a part of my life pretty much every day. Don't you think that like, although it's an inconvenience to you, it's a small inconvenience as opposed so, to the yeah. inconvenience on the animal because they have to lose their life I for it? When you do eat meat, you don't actually think like, oh, I'm, I'm the reason a cow's being killed right now yeah. because I want to eat this. Yeah. And you, you never like think about it. And if I was to eat meat, I wouldn't think of the, the animal that was there before. I'd just think of the food. But if I was to think of the animal that was there before, I'd feel sick and I wouldn't want to yeah. eat it. But you kind of block out things that yeah, you don't want yeah, to think about. Yeah. Do you think that um, it's acceptable that we like love some animals and we kill other ones? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Why? Uh, it's just life, isn't it? it? Doesn't really matter, you know. But do you realise that like you're paying for that to happen? Like you're paying for that per that another person to kill the animal when you buy meat? Yeah. And um, no, I do definitely realise that it's all of our faults really when we do eat meat we're the reason it does happen. Do you think that like if you were to pay someone to murder someone else that would be acceptable? Oh, well no. Do you think it would be equal to murdering them yourself? I think a lot of people in society view animals as not like not as important as human beings and we value certain lives over others and I think that's why we make it acceptable for us to eat meat whereas it wouldn't be acceptable for us to eat a human. But like as soon as you start to like, I don't know, have like feel like an animal has its own personality or is almost like a person. And you get a connection to and an animal. Yeah, no, as soon as that happens and as soon as it starts to feel like that, then... Then the animal suddenly becomes family and... And then you can't, you can't eat it, you can't kill it. Do you not think it matters to the animals? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what, that we love some of them? Or that we kill them? Um, to an extent, yeah, but I'm just able to switch that part of my brain off. Do you think that's a good thing? That you can do? Yeah, I'm fine with it. You know, I went vegetarian for like three or four months and I did that, you know, and I got on with it quite well, but I quite like meeting meat.